Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, what I want to talk to y'all about today is, is trapping beaver. Uh, as a lot of you know from years past of knowing me, I love, absolutely love trapping beaver. Uh, I, you know, there isn't any, anything any better that I enjoy other than possibly bobcats. Uh, man, and those two things just go hand in hand. If you've got cat or if you've got beaver, good chance you've got cats there too. Um, and I catch the majority of my beaver, I hold them alive in footholds. I don't drown them. Uh, there's no reason to, in my opinion. I like the fact of having them alive so that number one, I can release them or I can release non-target catches such as, or such as otter if I have to. Plus the fact that if you've got a live beaver up on the bank, you've got a live decoy there. And if you've got three, four, five sets right there in a row, you're going to catch two to, you know, two to five beaver there as well, because they're going to come up here and see what this joker's doing and see what it's all about. So that's my biggest thing. Um, the set that I, and not only that, but with the, you know, with the rising number of beavers, with the rising number of beaver, we have a rising number of beaver complaints, and we also have, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of bounty work going on now too, uh, in different states. Um, and then with the price of beaver, the beaver itself, you know, right now the beaver market's hot. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since we've had a beaver market this way. So it just pays you to, to, uh, to learn to catch beaver. And my dad told me years and years and years ago when I was just a little kid that uh, if you can learn to catch beaver and you can learn to catch coyotes, you will have a job. Might not be exactly where you want to be working, but you'll be working. So with anything, with nothing else left here, let's uh, flip this camera around and uh, let's get started on, on this set today. All right, gang. So here's something that a beaver comes in contact with. I'm doing this set on dry ground, by the way, just for demonstration purposes only. The set would be in the water. Uh, here's something that a beaver comes in contact with almost every night on his nightly travels and that is a stick or a tree that's been cut off by a beaver and the top of it got hung up in the top of another one and you've seen it i've seen it to where they'll actually eat all the way up as far as they can reach this set mimics that and all i've done is i've taken a piece of uh piece of cottonwood here green green cottonwood and you can do it with maple, you can do it with popple, you can do it with, uh, you know, cottonwood. Just anything that a beaver will eat. Whatever's natural in your area that the beaver feed on, that's what you want to use. And I've cut it off and trimmed it up, left a fork in the top of it there for a piece of wire to go around. And then I've wired it up in the top of this other tree so that it, it swings and it moves. Okay. Now you want approximately 10 inches of water, 10, 11, 12, something like that, and go down as low as six or eight if you absolutely have to. But you want about that much depth over top of that trap. And then I've dug a bed for it. Down, this would be dug down in the bottom of the, the stream or the, I personally, myself, I like to use this set where there's no current. Um, pond, lake, uh, you know, canal bio something of that sort where there's no current uh cypress a cypress swamp something of that sort uh that way he can come into it from any direction that he wants to with current I, it's a little bit harder to use because I'll, and i'll just demonstrate why here in just a minute the current is actually going to guide that beaver for you and it makes it just a little bit different um so I like to use this where there's no current whatsoever. Anyway, back to it. You want anywhere between 6 to 12 inches of water over top of that trap. Then you want the, the stick, you want the bottom of it to be up, oh, 6 to 10 inches high off of the surface of the water. You want it above the water 6 to 10 inches. Put a little lure on the end, on the end of that stick. Put your big number five, your big 850, your 750, whatever it is you, you choose to use, whatever you prefer. I like a big trap here because we're going to catch him by the back foot. Now, the first thing that's going to happen, beavers are going to see the stick, smell the lure, swim past, turn around, come by it, come into it. 
he's going to sit down first. Now, he might be back here to start with. Or he might be over off here. He might be off of your trap to start with. But he's going to rear up out of the water, and he's going to put his front feet on that stick. And it's going to move. And the first thing he does is he starts following it, and he starts dancing with it. And the more steps he takes in the dance, the more in trouble he's fixing to get. Because he's fixing to drop a back foot in that big trap. I mean, just very, very seldom will this set ever miss. Now, you will once in a blue moon, but not very often. Especially if you take the time to dig that bed down and get that trap below the surface of the, of the bottom. That way he doesn't drag his tail over it or something of that sort. Guys, I'm telling you, this set is so simple, so fast, and so slick, and so deadly really ought to be against a law to use uh it is a deadly deadly set i've taken a pile of beaver with this set you can take a beaver that's you know maybe a little bit waspy to, to a caster mound he's not used to a caster based lure out here on this stick he's used to it up there on the bank somewhere instead of out here what the heck is this all about you'll take him with this set i'm telling you this set is is just absolutely phenomenal and deadly all right, guys, I know like that was kind of another fast little video. There wasn't really a whole lot to it, but there was a lot of information there. And like I said, if you choose to use this set, it is phenomenal. Uh, I appreciate every one of you tuning in to watch. I appreciate all the subscriptions. And if you would, if you haven't already, if you would, just, just do that right there and hit that subscribe button for me. It doesn't cost you a dime. Just, just enough of emotion to do that right there is all it's going to cost you. If you choose not to do that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me, though, if you would, please. I appreciate that, too. Guys, once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one, signing out.